Welcome to the tutorial video for the Coupon Tools Subaccount Manager. The Subaccount Manager is where you set up subaccounts for your customers and assign permissions to your customers and team collaborators. To get started, I'll click the orange Add Subaccount button, and that will open the Create Customer dialog box. Here I'll enter the username and company name. In this example, I'll use the default password, but I could enter in my own if I wanted to. I'll click Proceed to store the information and move on. Next, I'll provide the contact information for the subaccount. If I want, I can change the username and password from the previous screen. I'll enter Jane Doe as the name of our fictitious user and provide an email address for her. Notice that I can choose from a variety of languages using the language drop-down. The same is true for currency using the currency drop-down. Under Max Campaigns, I can choose how many coupon campaigns are available for this subaccount. Next, I'll choose a domain name for the subaccount and specify an expiration date. Finally, I can choose whether this is a trial account or an actual paid customer. If I'd like the account to become disabled after the expiration date, I can simply check the box here. When I'm all finished, I'll click Save to store my selections. Next, I'll click Edit Account Restrictions. This brings me to Dashboard Settings. Here you see the default settings with Dashboard, Statistics, Export Statistics, Show Amount of Campaigns, Add Campaign, Update Campaigns, and Delete Campaigns turned on. You can modify these settings as you wish and then click Save to store your selections. In this example, I'll leave these settings at their current default choices. Now we're back in the overview of customer accounts. Here you can see the username, company name, expiration date, and last login. In the active max column, you can see how many campaigns are live in the subaccount. As an administrator, you are able to log in to a customer's subaccount and edit the subaccount. You can edit account restrictions, see account statistics, email login credentials, block the subaccount, or even remove it. In the last column, you see the status, which in this example is a trial account. Let's click Login as Subaccount. Now we are logged into the subaccount as the user, and we can see what the user can do. The Edit Account and Edit Account Restrictions options will take us to the same settings we saw earlier in this video. Let's look now at Account Statistics. Here you can select the coupons of the subaccount and see the total claims versus validations, used devices, total views, claims, and validations, total claims slash validations per month, and total claims slash validations per coupon. The last function we'll look at is email login credentials. Here you can email the subaccount login credentials to the subaccount email address. The email is branded with your white label logo and name. As the administrator, you are sending the account details to your subaccount. Thank you for watching this tutorial about the subaccount manager features.